Hello, everyone. StreamYard keeps telling me my mic is in plug unplugged. I think it is isn't plugged in, so please let me know if you can hear me. Hello, how are you? Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. I'm so glad that you're here tonight. We're going to create um, a beautiful card together. Uh, why do we do this? We do this because we want to show how much we care and spread the world with kindness by making and sending our handmade cards, right? Just gonna blanket the world with handmade cards. So thank you for all you're doing in making and creating and sending out those cards. I appreciate all that you do because I can only send so many and um, no audio. Hmm, Donna doesn't have audio, okay. Oh, Mickey can hear me. Hmm, Facebook can't hear me, how interesting. Yeah, it looks like YouTube can hear me, but Facebook can't. Hmm. Um, that is weird. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we're going to proceed. Oh, and Facebook can hear me. Ah, thank goodness. Okay, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> technology. But it helps us get together. So it's worth it, right? It's worth the struggle because we can still gather even though we're all over the country, all over the world. We even have some friends tuning in from Australia. Hey, friends. I'm guessing I don't have my European friends. They usually catch me on the replay because they're all sleeping right now, right? So, so glad that you're here. And I always rely on you and your creative um, spark um, to help me design the cards. And I hope that we can creativity kind of feeds off of itself and each other so hopefully you'll get a lot of inspiration from this and you'll leave this video and go i want to go make cards right that's the goal oh, and i just hit the mic sorry <sighs> i lose things i will lose things tonight i guarantee you i will lose things tonight because <laughs> that's how i roll so we play a little game to avoid the frustration of not being able to find things. So we play the found it game. So when I lose something and I find it again, well, I'll take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what's in your cup tonight. And I'd like to say hello to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh. Jennifer does a lot for us here on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Jennifer. She'll be dropping in um, sizes and comments and so forth. But don't worry, wherever you're watching, if you're over on Facebook, it doesn't matter. At the very end, I will show the finished card with the uh, dimensions so that you can get a screenshot of it. So Jennifer, help me remember to do that. I usually remember, but sometimes I forget. So, um, but I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll remember tonight. So I've got it already typed up and I'll show it, it at the end. Let's get this party started. All right, we're gonna dive right in friends. All right, I'm gonna flip to the other desktop camera. Woohoo! All right, we got things squeezing in here disregard the mess <laughs> there are piles friends outside of the view you get to see the part, you get to see the part that's cleaned off <clears throat> it's not all cleaned off all right so in our last video we made some cards with this awesome um hybrid uh embossing folder and dies so when you order the delightful doily let's bring it in Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> is that okay jennifer am i gonna get in trouble again so she was over yesterday and she said, now, what is this that you're doing? You're, are you are you trying to, is this AI getting rid of my job here that you're putting on the, the <laughs> item number? The, um, I happen to do this bundle for a, a large um, in-person demonstration, well, in-person and online demonstration for uh, for demonstrators, actually, a couple weeks ago. And um, I had it already, so I you know, just reused it. So no, Jennifer, we appreciate everything you do. So um so when you order this, you get all of this stuff. You get this awesome, beautiful embossing folder. So you can do cards like this. This was a Crafter Noon card from, this is the book um, book jacket fold. I think it was two months ago, right? Um, by the way, I've been getting some um, questions on Crafter Noon. So Crafter Noon is a monthly uh, class that I do. I do do it uh, on a public video. But people who placed a $50 order with me last month will get a packet to make this month's unique fun fold. Um, and those packets should go out uh, by Saturday. And then Crafternoon video will be on August 19th this month at 3 p.m. Central Time. So uh, so don't worry, it is coming. Um, 
and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so that was that. In the last video we did, um, we actually then used the die. So that was just, that card was just with the folder, which is gorgeous. And it's really great with like food, you know, um, it actually would have been cute to put the little doily um, under the glasses. I mean, so many different things that you could do, right? Tea would be cute with a tea card. In the last video we made these cards. Um, so on this one, we used this die and then embossed it, right? And we did it as two separate steps. We cut the, the frame and we did the embossing as a second step. That's important. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more. And then on this card, we made two in that video. We made two cards, you guys. Remember that? That was crazy. But it was not too long, actually. Um, this one, we stepped it up. And instead of using, well, I don't know if you call it stepped up. We did it a little bit differently. Um, instead of using this one embossed, we did this one and embossed it. And we also did it as two separate steps. This, These hybrid are actually made that you can do it as one step. And friends, we are going to do that tonight. We're going to get brave and we're going to do it that way. And so I'm going to show you um, how that works. And then it's up to you if you want to do it or if you want to do it separate. This is the other one that I had done prior to the video uh, last time. So bubble bath. Why, is it, why are we fuzzy? Why are we fuzzy? I don't know. We just are. Um, <laughs> my camera doesn't know where to focus. Bubble bath, uh, Azure Afternoon, and Lemon Lolly with the touch of daffodil delight in the center so um so this intricate doily is super cool but what we're going to do tonight is i want to show you a different thing that you can do with this we're going to make a framed card and we are going to actually do it the way that this um this uh hybrid was intended to be done so so exciting all right so let me just show you what i'm talking about i'm going to bring in another hybrid right here do, 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 do. All right, so this is the um, tree rings hybrid. So it comes with, oh, well, let's get all the dies in. So we only brought in a few, we only brought in one. All right, so it's, I'm gonna backwards so it goes like that. Um, so it comes with the embossing folder, it comes with the dies, and then you can emboss or you can cut and emboss. Or what I actually did on this one is I put my paper in. Actually, I put my dies in, dies in, I went to dies here. Oh, get them right side up. Oh my heavens. <laughs> I'm gonna make this as complicated as I can, friends. No, I'm not. All right, so um, I, I put the die right in place here and then I put the paper on top of it and then I sent it through and it cut and embossed all of these pieces at the same time. So that is what we're gonna do tonight. We have a number of, um, we have three of these in the uh, catalog right now. We have the tree rings, we have the citrus, and then we have the doily. I will tell you that there's a new one coming out in the upcoming mini catalog. So the upcoming mini catalog, I'm getting a lot of questions about that because last year it came out in July. This year it's coming out in September. So it is a couple months later. Um, it is amazing. Um, I have ordered my copies. If you placed an order for me in the past year, you'll be getting a copy in the mail, but my uh, catalogs have not arrived yet there. I just got one in my, or got a couple in my pre-order. Um, but in there, there is a, and I overnighted my pre-order, so I already have that. <laughs> um, in there is a new, um, hybrid called stars at night and it is so gorgeous you guys it is so gorgeous it's part of a suite called oh holy night um there are two bundles in that suite this one is the um oh my gosh let me show you what like so i cut just all right um i cut this star where is it yeah it was this one and embossed uh, it and put this little gem in the middle and that's what I got just for very little effort. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So when the new mini catalog comes out, check that out. Um, it's yeah, oh, we'll be doing more with that. No worries. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to oh, tree rings. Go away. We not, you, not, we're not playing with you tonight. We're playing with this one. So the cards that we're making tonight are a little more, um, this one's actually fairly easy. Um, sometimes they're more involved. I mean, these had, you know, they had coloring on them and extra die cutting. And sometimes that is great and so fun and so relaxing to do, especially when you know 
um, you can just envision how joyful the person who receives it is going to, how happy it's going to make them, right? Uh, but sometimes we um, we don't have time. I know many of you are caregivers for family members who are dealing with health struggles, um, and but you still want to make handmade cards. So I just wanted to um, mention that all of our kits are on sale this month and that is a great way to um you know be able to still make handmade cards quickly um where somebody already did the design work for you all the pieces and parts are in here along with complete step-by-step -step instructions and you can still make beautiful handmade cards and send them out i mean this one is freaking adorable it's called light the candles kit comes with the block comes with the stamps you can do this with the grandkids um comes with a little glittery, I don't know if you can see the glitter on that, and the, the candles go over, I mean, it's just so cute, so cute. And then this one is a slice of cake. So uh, check out the kits, they are um, all on sale right now. If you're watching on YouTube, Jennifer is dropping the link to the, um, to the online store directly to the kits collection. Now I checked before I went live, this was in stock. Um, they can go in and out of stock quickly, especially when when they're on sale, right? Um, and this one has, look, look at those cute envelopes. They have printing on the inside. So, you know, cards don't have to be complicated. The one we're doing tonight is, I would say kind of mid-range. Um, this one is maybe a little more involved. I love doing all kinds of cards. Um, depends on my time and, but again, the important thing is to get them out in the mail, right? Not whether you spent two hours making it, right? Um, this is a brand new one. I did check right before we went live. As of right now, it's still in stock. Um, if it's not in stock and they're bringing it back, it will say currently unavailable right below it, but it will be back at a future date. Um, this one is called a Festive Tags Kit. I will tell you these Christmas ones tend to sell out because they're perfect for the holidays when you want to make cards, but you're busy um, doing holiday type things. So even though it's tags, um, you can easily convert it to cards. You can make the tag and stick it on the front of a card, right? Um, with this one, you can mix and match, although the sample shows the poinsettia, for example, on this red. If you'd rather do the wreath on the red background, I mean, you can mix and match. You can change things around. And they have little gold elements on them, and they're just super cute. This one is a no stamping kit, super quick and easy, um, and also very reason. I think it's on sale for in the U.S. eleven dollars and twenty cents. I want to say, really good deal. So anyway, all right, let's go back to our card that we're making. Okay, so I'm gonna pop those down on the floor because that's how we <laughs> that's how we organize around here, friends. All right, we're gonna make a card and I don't know what color we're making it because I want you to help me decide. Oh, so many, Stampin' Up! has so many fantastic colors. It is a tough choice sometimes. So here's your options and I'm giving you way too many and I know that will go well. Oh, well, we're just gonna do it. We have Boho Blue. We have Moody Mauve. We have Lost Lagoon and we have Pebbled Path. So let me know in the comments if you would like boho, mauve, you can say moody if you'd rather, boho, mauve, lagoon, or pebbled, or path, whatever. And uh, let me tell what color we're, we're making our card tonight. I am gonna bring in my paper trimmer here and get ready to cut as soon as you tell me what color we're doing it. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, we got one of every, oh, I'm seeing a lot of Lost Lagoon. Look at those Lost Lagoon boats. Mmm. Oh, we got a mauve, we got a boat for mauve. Boho, Lost Lagoon, another one for Lost Lagoon. I think Lost Lagoon is in the lead. Now, you may just be seeing comments. If you're not watching on Facebook, you're just seeing the Facebook comments. If you're watching on YouTube, you're seeing just the YouTube comments. I am able to see all of them. Looks like it is a, a neck, uh, it's a close one between Mauve and Lost Lagoon, I would say. So I'm gonna take these two. You've been voted off the island. I'm so sorry, we'll use you again soon. And if you're a big uh, Boho Blue fan, don't worry, because I did this card in Boho Blue and you're gonna get to see it. So <laughs> so we are got it narrowed down to uh, Lost Lagoon and Mauve. If you wanna vote again, that's okay. You can, because we're narrowing it down to this one. And you're anxious to see what is new. Oh, so many fun things. So many fun things. Um, all right. 
Good golly, Miss Molly. I'm seeing, oh boy, there's two moths, two lagoons. There's a third moth, third lagoon. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to make half of you unhappy. <laughs> All right. I think, I think lagoon is squeaked out moody mob, but you know, I'll have to, maybe I'll have to make, oh, if I have time, I'll make a moody mob one after the video and I'll put it on our, on our uh, Sue Stanfield Facebook group afterwards. All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to dive right in. Let's go with Lost Lagoon. <clears throat> I'm going to go with, uh, oh, let's cut it in half, Susan. Let's say it in half by 11. I'm cutting it at five and a half because we're going to I'll save this one because I have to cut that in a second. So this is my card base. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Just your standard, typical card. And then we're going to take this. Oh, come on, Sue. Right, <laughs> I talk to myself when I craft. Sorry. <clears throat> Sometimes I have to get quite strict with myself. Okay, so we have our other piece here. I'm going to cut it at four and five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. There we go. All right. And let's put this away. Oh, you know what? I need a, I need a piece for the inside of the card and I forgot to cut it. So let's do that while we have the trimmer at hand here. This is also going to be four by five and a quarter. Because when you're doing a card in a darker color, um, it's hard to see writing and stamping and so forth. So I like to line it with white. Pretty much do that on a lot of cards. It does give it kind of a little bit more of a finished look too, right? All right, oh, now the fun begins. <laughs> Let's bring in our, oh, clunk. <laughs> our die cutting and embossing machine here is at the ready. So we're going to grab our, uh, first we're just gonna, oh gosh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, I'm using a ring light, so I apologize for the annoying uh, reflection. I'll try to tilt it up so you can see. So we're gonna start by embossing just the base. So I'm um, not doing any cutting yet. I'm gonna take this four by five and a quarter. Did I cut that right? It looks small. Oh yeah, no, that's, no, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> Trust the process, Sue. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up with the, um, there's a little, uh, you see that black line that's printed on there right around the Stamp It Up logo? Um, sometimes it's just easier for me to line that up and then I know I'm um, centered on the folder. They still have to center from side to side. Ooh, looks like I'm a little fuzzy. I need to get a new blade in there. All right, so this is a 3D embossing folder. So your sandwich for your uh, die cutting and embossing machine is very simple. And the die cutting and embossing machine comes with all of these plates and parts that you need. And um, we're gonna use platform number one. We've got our embossing folder and it tells us the directions right here for 3D embossing folder that we use number one our embossing folder with our paper in it and number four right on top. So we're gonna send that through. All right. I have a little random piece of paper I had stuck in the machine, sorry. All right, so there we have our Lost Lagoon embossed piece, gorgeous. All right, and we put that aside to our card base. And now, oh my gosh, you guys, I need another piece of Lost Lagoon. What am I thinking? Hold on, hold the phone. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. <laughs> Have you ever done this, like cut paper on a lumpy thing that you're not supposed to cut paper on? Yeah, totally going to do that right now. <laughs> All right, we need a four by four piece. Oh, Susan, I am losing my mind. All right, four by four piece. There we go. We haven't lost anything yet, though. There's, there. That's a win. <clears throat> All right. No, I've jinxed myself. I said that. All right. So we have our piece, and if you recall, I said we're going to try doing a double. We're going to cut and emboss in the same step, which is the, the intention of these um, embossing folders. So why didn't I do that last time? Because it will make, um, it'll make a little cut mark on your embossing folder. Let me bring in, you know, and it's not terrible. Um, it depends how much you use it, I guess. This is the tree ring one. 
Um, I did do both. Can you see? Well, you can definitely see it because it's got a little bit of, of uh, pebbled path um, cardstock around it. So there's a little that extra groove around that was from die cutting it. However, when I, emb I embossed this piece after die cutting it and it didn't pick it up on the embossing folder, which was my concern because it's not raised up that much. So we'll see. Let's see what happens here. So I am going to lock this into place. Um, I'm not really locking it, friends. <laughs> I am um, sliding it into place and it just kind of pops right in and fits right around the, the shape, okay? We are making a frame card. So we're gonna bring in our, oh, hey, look, we could use our found it magnetic dish um, to hang on to, oh wait, that one doesn't match our project. <clears throat> Let's use this one, it's a little bit closer. Um, so I'm gonna put this die right there because um, I don't want it to get lost. And uh, I'm gonna move it around. I see how this one stuck to it as well. So the, the C Stamfield Found It Magnetic Dish um, is a special offer. I'm doing this, this, uh, this what? Um, in August with a $75 order, I will mail you the uh, a little Found It Magnetic Dish so you can keep track of your small dies. So, we're going to go ahead and put this right in the middle. Uh, maybe I can show you better on this. So in the center, if I tilt it like this, hopefully you can see that there's a smaller kind of a doily in the middle. And we're going to be cutting that out. Maybe you can see it better on this one. Yeah, you probably can. So I'm putting that circle right around that center doily, just like that. And then I'm going to lay my 4x4 piece of cardstock on top of it. Make sure I can't see any dye. And I'm going to close that up. Um, I'm just going to send it through this way so I don't move anything. Um, like I'm nervous. What if I move something? All right, let me check it. Let me check it. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is scary. Okay, no, it's not scary, Susan. Be brave. Okay. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Let's see what happens. So the weird thing about when you emboss and cut it the same, it's the same sandwich. The same sandwich as the embossing folder. All right. So it's just platform number one and the uh, plate number four, just like you were doing a 3D embossing. And I know that feels, seems weird. Like it seems like it wouldn't go through. It, it goes through just fine as you just saw. All right. So now when we open it up, we've got our dies right here. We've got our perfectly cut frame for our card. So pretty and it's embossed so it cut and embossed it in one step and we also have a pretty little circle that we could use for another card or um, maybe on the inside of the card you know we have some options there so um, that's how it works let's take a look at the cutting so I am um, I can't really zoom up on you know what I'm gonna put this behind it I think you'll be able to see a little bit better so when you do this as one step, like I said, with the tree rings, it will leave a little cut mark in your embossing folder. Can you see that that line that's around the doily, that wasn't there before. I, mean, I actually do not see a cut mark in the circle area, which is kind of interesting. I, I don't see that cutting in. If I use this a whole bunch, that might become more pronounced. So if that bothers you, you can do this as a separate step, okay? The issue with the frame is that you need to um, die cut the shape, emboss it, and then cut out the circle because otherwise it's impossible to tell where that circle goes. So with the frame card, it is actually a little bit easier to do it this way. And then we can just test this. Um, let's just emboss this and see just make sure that that cut mark doesn't show up on our embossed piece okay because i would be curious about that i don't know if you would be curious about that but i'm curious is that going to show um it didn't on the tree rings let's see if it does on this one hang on bear with me one moment we'll cut a piece of moody mauve moody mauve Depending if you're in Australia, they say it different um, than here in the US. So let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, okay. 
let's emboss this and see what it looks like. See, because now if I do do the mauve one, I'll already have part of it done, right? See, I'm trying to think it through tonight for a change. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to line that up with the line, send it through, and let's see if that little um, uh, mark transfers through. All right, Sue, why is your circle not in your dish? Because oh, I didn't put it there. All right, we need to train me <laughs> to use the tools I have to not lose things. Oh, my goodness. All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So. <laughs> All right, so there we have a moody mauve. Ooh, really, really pretty. A moody mauve embossed piece. Um, and it did not transfer that, that cut part didn't transfer. It's on the back anyway, uh, the back side of the folder, not the front. So, um, did not affect the finish at all, the, the embossing. So that's good to know, right? I would want to know that. All right, let's set this one aside. All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's go. Let's, uh, oh, Susan, you put that away and you need it. That's why you were keeping hang, keeping hands on this. All right, so we're going to stamp a greeting here. And then we're going to die cut the greeting. And I'm going to just <clears throat> throw some stamps out of my way. All right, we're going to grab a scratch paper here. We're going to grab a three by three inch piece of basic white. And we're going to stamp a greeting. Now, the stamp set I have, um, I'm using, is actually one that's been on my shelf for a while. It needed a little bit of love, so I decided to bring it out to play. Um, this is the uh, Pansy Patch stamp set. has some coordinating dies for the fun um, pansies, or you can just use it straight up as a... Um, a stamp set and we're going to use this one um wishing you a little extra happiness because you're you and we're actually making a birthday card this will be on the outside and we'll do our birthday message on the inside so i'm just going to stamp it now this is um, the circle center of this embossing folder is really about two inches by two inches my paper is three by three. I realize that's larger than I need, but I do that on purpose because sometimes I don't see things straight. Um, now it doesn't matter as much with a circle, um, but if I'm crooked or wonky or off center or whatever, I don't have to worry because I've got plenty of cardstock, right? If you are a paper saver, shout out to my paper savers. You guys are awesome. Um, you would not need to do a three by three. If you're a messy stamper like Sue, yeah, you might want to do it. <laughs> I want to do a bigger one. <clears throat> just saying. All right. So now I'm going to bring the setup back in, but this time I am just using this die as a die, which means I need, um, I need the rest of my sandwich. Uh, okay. Mm, hold on. I got to find it. And we have our first founded of the night. Take a sip, everyone. You guys are probably dying of thirst because it's been way too long. Hmm. Okay, we had our little sip, and now we're going to pop this in, and I cut our sentiment. I like that sentiment. It's just, I'm all about kindness, and that is a kind sentiment, if that makes sense. Hang on a sec, i got to look at my, um, I think I want to drop this down just to skosh. All right, I'm go like that. I'm living dangerously and not putting a post-it note on it. See how that works out for me. <laughs> All right. Let's set that aside. Let's see here. I'm going to put that back in the magnet dish. And up, oh, found it. Somewhere I have a ruler. I was going to tell you that die is just a hair. Oh, it, I would say it's two inches. I mean, we can call that two, right? It's It's a it's a centimeter not even uh, one centimeter less than two maybe I don't know. it's it's let's call it two pretty dang close to two and um, if you don't want to use the die and you have a two inch punch you could totally use that instead all right let's pop this aside but you might as well use what you have right what comes in the bundle so let's go ahead and make our card the Lost Lagoon, that's what the popular vote was. I think this would absolutely be stunning in Moody Mauve. So let's... Ah, found it! If 
found our adhesive. Take another sip, friends. Get my seal on here. And I prefer to put the embossing on, or the uh, adhesive on the part that's not embossed. It's, you know, up to you. All right, so there we've got our embossed piece on the front. Uh, Lost Lagoon is a very peaceful color, I think. It just makes you calm looking at it, doesn't it? So I'm, I'm turning this because I'm just trying to find the, um, this is the same shape as this. So I'm just lining them up, if that makes sense. And up, oh, found it. I'm going to grab my dimensionals right here. And we are going to pop up this because we're making a frame. And then we're going to put our greeting in the middle of the frame. So let's pop four on here. You can do more if you want. All right. So that goes right there. And then I am not going to pop up the words that I'm just going to put in flat. So here it is right here. Found it right where I put it. Does that count? <laughs> I was looking at my container. I didn't put it back there. I just left it laying on the desk because that's how I roll friends. All right. So we're going to just press that right into the center there. Wishing you a little extra happiness because you're you. And then remember, you've got this whole little pretty embossed circle that you can use for another card. You can also use the other die that we haven't used yet to make this into a smaller doily um, and use it that way. Um, all right. So we've got this. We're going to add a little fancy to it. So, but again, this is, you know, a simple card. So we're going to, oh, come on, Sue. What did you do with your, oh, I have scissors that I only use for cutting ribbon that have, oh, found them. They were under the dice. Take a sip, everyone. <laughs> um, I like to have designated ribbon scissors because um, my paper ones get used on sticky things and, if it gets too much sticky residue on it, it won't cut ribbons. So just going to add a little bit of this pretty uh, Lost Lagoon ribbon. What's it called, Jennifer? Oh, bordered quarter inch ribbon in Lost Lagoon. And it's got a very kind of a linen feel to it. I just tied a simple knot in it and I angled the tails downwards. And then I'm just going to snip it off short so that it looks like a... Um, Kind of like a, a, a oh, I'm gonna do it a little bit shorter, a faux bow. So I didn't actually tie a bow, but it looks like a bow, right? It's a knot. Let's see, I like that side better. All right, <laughs> let me see if, let's see if Susan can find her glue dots. Oh, they're right where they belong. Okay, that's not even a found it because they were right where they were supposed to be. Oops, if I can't find the glue dot on the paper, there it is. All right, so we've got our little ribbon right there, and then we're just gonna add a little bit of sparkle to this simple card. So, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves, hold on. Oh, here they are. These are one of my go-to um, gems right now. They are called Adhesive Back Sequin Trio. They come in very burst, uh, pretty peacock, and I think it's just called clear maybe. Um, and so the clear ones will work on anything. The berry burst one will really work on anything pink because it's a uh, um, it's a little bit lighter than berry burst. So it's oh you know what I wanted to put a big one there. Hang on, let's move that one. Let's move this one. Um, let's see, maybe I'll put that right here. And another small one right up here. And I'll do a big one right down here. So they're they're kind of uh, iridescent. They just pick up a, a little bit of the light and has has kind of a shimmer to it, very subtle. Um, you could also use pearls or something like that if you prefer. And then on the inside of the card, we've got our piece of basic white here. And that was four by five and a quarter. Let's 
same as the embossed piece on the front. And then we can add um, the words happy birthday inside here. All right, there's the happy birthday. Okay. So just a simple uh, frame card. And let me show you what it looked like in boho blue. That one's right here. So exactly the same card. You could make up a whole stack of these cards um, in a variety of colors. And um, we also have, so we used the pansy patch for both the inside and outside greetings. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could add a pansy inside of the card. So let's do it. Should we do it? Let's do it. Oh, or should we make Moody Mob card? How are we doing on time? We got, it's 8.07, you guys. we got plenty of time. Maybe we should make the Moody Mob version. Let's make a Moody Mob version. All right, and then we might still do a pansy, even if we have time. Because we've got the half the Moody Mob one done, right? Let's do it really quick. I just want to see what it looks like. Are you guys cool with that? All right, and at the end, I will show the dimensions so you can take a screenshot with a picture of the cards. All right. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's cut our paper on top of the paper. Yeah, would, would, have been, would have been a good idea had I not put that on there yet. You know what? I'm never going to do a four by, well, okay, I will. Directions say four by four square, Susan. Follow your directions. Okay. All right. I'm doing it. Okay. So we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. <laughs> Finding all the pieces. All right. So let's open this up again. And we want to put it here. So um, if you're wondering what side you put it on, you, you put the die on the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo with the cutting side up. And it's going to cut into the back of the folder. Okay. And um, it'll just nest right in there. And then let's grab this out of our little bush. Pop that in the middle. Where are my Moody Mauve fans? Who voted for Moody Mauve? All right, let's put that in. Oh, it moved on me. It's okay, I'm just gonna throw it back over there. There we go. And let's put it on our top plate and send it through. Oh, I'm a right-handed person and I put this on with the handle to the left. That's really not gonna work for me, guys. It's just not gonna, yeah, not gonna work for me. All right, let's send it through. All right, let's see how we did. All right, let me capture my circle again because I'm going to need it for our sentiment. And we've got our embossed frame right there. And we've got our die cut circle. Okay. And you know what? We've got this pretty leftover piece. Like you could totally use that. Now this one I didn't center very well. If you center it better, um, like this one ended up being, you could use that as a frame on the inside of the card if you wanted to, would totally work, right? All right, let's stamp our circle. Oh, now I'm rushing, now I'm trying to rush. Okay, I need a piece of basic white. Here's one, I think this is thick, but doesn't matter, it will work. Uh, I need to clean my stamp off because it's got Lost Lagoon on it. So cheapest washing machine you'll ever buy. This is the Stampin' Scrub clean cleaning pad and the Stampin' Mist cleaner. All right. Might as well clean the happy birthday while we're at it. All right, there we go. Grab this. Let's stamp our sentiment. Moody Mob. Where is me? Oh, found it. It's at the bottom of the stack of ink pads. Not where it belonged at all. Mm, take a sip, everyone. Oh, that just fell off and just missed my toe. We're getting wild and dangerous here tonight. Ah, last video, I was throwing die, throwing dies across the room accidentally. Mm. All right, this is just a scrap. Um, Again, a three by three circle or a three by three square would work great for this. I'm super lazy, so I'm just grabbing what I've got. 
and let's slide things let's bring this back in how do i fill up any given space you guys seriously oh my gosh if i had the biggest desk in the world i would still fill the <laughs> i would fill every inch oh goodness all right we need our cutting sandwich which is one and then the die adapter which is two and then uh standard plate number three with another three on top and there's my circle oh my circle's in my magnetic dish haha -ha. ho 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 did its job good job dish all right wait 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 wait, wait. I get a weird blubby thing on there hang on you see that i got a little blob of ink i know i'm a perfectionist what can i say let's flip this one over and let's let's tamp it again because we can <sighs> goodness it's probably a dog hair on it or something because that happens in my world some of you have cat hairs in your stamps so you you know what i you know of what i speak all right i'm going to close this ink pad up or i'm going to end up with ink everywhere all right whoops didn't put it in the dish but fortunately it didn't go missing jeez Oh, geez. Okay. Um, here we go. Your office is clean right now, Janine. Good job. Mine is not. <laughs> and who am I kidding? It's not going to ever be clean. So somebody said they didn't believe it was as messy as I say, and I should show it. And I'm like, I'm not showing it. It's, it is messy as I say. All right. Here we go. All right. Okay, card number two, let's do it. We would need a card base for that. And I've got it almost cut, but it's just a hair too big, I think. Yep. There we go. And we'll just score it. Love my paper trimmer. Love, love, love. All right. our card together friends card number two i know i made it seem like that oh, oh susan what did you do with the bone folder well i can tell you i didn't put it back where it belonged because that is empty <laughs> oh my goodness you guys seriously oh found it it's under the cards take a sip all right let's grab our adhesive which is <laughs> found it it's not back where it belongs but i found it oh my goodness all right well i'm just trying to keep you all hydrated tonight that is my goal all right so there we have our embossed layer and here we have our frame right here now i will point out when you cut an emboss at the same time versus when you emboss sep cut and then emboss separately i will say the embossing is maybe a tad more prominent um, when you do it separately just a tad i don't I, with this frame card i think the ease of doing it all in one isn't worth the you know the the slightly less embossed look um does that make sense we have little weird things on here all right let's get some dimensionals on here and pop this up and if we have time we're gonna we're gonna pop a pansy in one of these oh how am i doing oh 15 minutes okay <laughs> try not to go over an hour because i respect your time people all right let's see here i'm gonna just put this into place and then we've got our what that is um we're gonna add our greeting here oh i can lose anything okay see there there's our messed up part but plenty of paper and nobody's ever going to see that this two-sided paper saves us every time doesn't it all right let's look at that all right that looks pretty good all right and then of course we've got our pretty 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 moody mauve this one is the moody mauve textured ribbon and it is indeed textured it's almost like pebbled um it's just really really pretty ribbon all right i had my ribbon scissors 
Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. I don't know where they went. They're gone forever, forever and ever. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> okay. Take a sip, friends. Take a sip. <laughs> oh, goodness. I crack myself up. Oh, isn't that ribbon gorgeous? Look at that. It's so pretty. All right. Glue dots also were not put back where they belong, but they were right here. So it's all good. It's all good. All right, I'm just going to press my ribbon right on the glue dot, pick it up, put it in place. There we go. All right, so there we have our front of our card. Embellishments are completely optional. It's your choice. Um, it's pretty much always my choice <laughs> to go with them. Um, I think these would still work. The other option would be... actual moody mauve embellishments so um they're a little shinier uh maybe and i don't know these would actually maybe work too Ooh. Mm, choices all right let me know in the comments should we do sequins or should we do what are these called dots yeah should we do the sequins or the dots let me know in the comments and while you're voting on that i'm going to uh see if i can track down a piece of basic white for the ends oh look at that Seriously, it's even the right size. Oh my gosh, that never happens. All right, um, and let's stamp happy birthday on that. Dots, 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 sequins, dots, dots, dots. All right, the dots have it. So let's do happy birthday. All right, and I'm gonna put that right here. Okay. Happy birthday, and that's going to go right inside. Now, if we wanted to, we could do, um, you know what, let's, should we throw a pansy on there? What would a pansy look like in mauve? I don't know. Let's find out. Super quick, super quick pansy. <laughs> Just in the corner. All right, I've got this. This is the, the little pansy from the set. So I'm going to stamp it in solid on my scrap paper and then stamp it over here in the corner. And then I'm going to take the squealy uh, detail part of the pansy. It's the technical term, the squiggly detail part. Okay, probably not the technical term. And stamp that on top of that one. And then I'm going to take the um, smaller squiggly detail that goes in the center and stamp that right there. There we go. Cute little pansy there. Um, if you want, oh shoot, oh shoot, hang on. Is it in the, oh, it's in the case. Hallelujah. Um, you can make a little mask and do a leaf. So this is a post-it note. I just stamped the solid part of the pansy on it and I didn't even, I was lazy. I didn't even cut the whole thing out. I just cut out part of it I still have some sticky on there, and so I cover up the the mauve part, and then I'll grab a leaf. Um, oh, you know what? We have Lost Lagoon out, so we'll we'll make a Lost Lagoon leaf. It's kind of a green blue, so that that works, right? Doesn't have to be a real pansy leaf color, right? So again, I'll do the solid one, and I'll stamp it off, and just have that leaf coming off here, and then I'll do the detailed leaf full strength on top of that one and then when you pull away the post-it note it looks like the leaf is behind the flower so there we have our little pansy that is called masking and you could do that once and save it in your stamp set and then you'll have a mask uh, whenever you want it um, last little thing let's let's put a little center you don't have to do this but Let's add a Daffodil Delight little center in the middle of our pansy. Bop, right there. And we'll stick that inside our card. All right. The pansies come in a lot of colors. Apparently they come in mauve now. <laughs> All right, let's do this and this. Pop that inside. And let's look at our three cards here. One, two, three. 
And then we have these fun little circles that we can use for another project. Awesome. We also have this frame, like we could have put that frame inside, skipped the pansy and just framed that happy birthday using all our parts and pieces. Let's put up our dimensions, shall we? I'm going to clear the deck a little bit, tidy up. Excuse me while I just tidy up. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. i got to have it clean and tidy. All right, let's see if, um, oops, where is that? Let's see right here. All right, there you can take a screenshot right there. Oh, we forgot to put on the dots. All right, mm. and you can still take a screenshot if you want, but I'm gonna add some dots, so I might get in your way for a minute. All right, so we'll put, come here, just sliding a little baby dot here. <laughs> Does not wanna play tonight. Oh my goodness, all right that right there oh that is cute you guys are right um let's do a let's do a bigger one down here and another small one up in the top corner how about that all right so there we have our gems all right now i'll step out of the shot so you can take your picture of the finished card <laughs> All right, and let's hide our sentiment here and go back to, whoops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, what was the question? Where are the dots? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I remember the dots, woohoo. All right, so which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. We've got Boho Blue, we've got Moody, Mo Moody Mauve, and we have Lost Lagoon. And I realize those sequins are a little more subtle, but trust me, in person, you can really see them. So let me know which is your favorite in the comments. And I'm gonna flip the camera here so I can say farewell. Oh my gosh, we did that in, it's not even an hour, you guys. Look, look how good we are. <laughs> and I wanted to remind you, got Boho, I've got, oh, I've got, oh, everyone, Everyone has their favorite, so that's awesome. But boho is very popular. So I think a boho pansy would be super cute inside that one, right? I think I might have to do that. Thanks so much for joining me. I wanted to remind you the project sheets. Um, I send out free project sheet emails. Um, one went out uh, this weekend, actually. The last one went out this weekend. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that at suestampfield.com. Click on subscribe, and you'll get a little creative inspiration right in your inbox couple times a month. So take care, everyone. Have a great evening and we'll see you next time. I'll be back uh, this coming Saturday at 730 Central Time uh, with another creative video. Bye-bye. Take care.